right, uh, welcome back to the Black Metal Rebellion. We're doing yet another answers video for the Q&A. And starting off this video will be Juan Santiago. First question. He asks, in Brazil, there are slash used to be extremist metalheads who would beat up people they consider posers and steal their metal shirts. Do you have metal extremists like that in your country where you live? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Anyone tries to beat me up and steal my shirts in for a, a world of hurt. Because <laughs> uh, anyone touches me, it's fucking go time. Um, but no, we don't have really anyone here that's that extreme into metal and that extremist when it comes to being a metalhead over here. Uh, I mean, we're in Canada. I mean, I guess that suits the stereotype of everyone's nice here, but I mean, they're not. But in, in the fact that no one's coming up to me and trying to, you know, question my metal validity and kick my ass for not, you know, knowing what's what shirt I'm wearing's band is. So, no, there's, no, there's none of that over here, thank God, because that's just stupid and ignorant. Um, next, they say, what do you do for a living? Well, uh, I'm on Ontario Disability with uh, my wife. Um, there's numerous reasons why I can't get a uh, regular 9 to 5 job like everyone else. Um, one of them being the fact that I have a broken femur and I can't carry anything for too much of a extended time over 50 pounds a lot of the jobs that I would be eligible to get with uh, you know the way I look and with my criminal background and stuff like that uh, would be factory jobs and I would not be able to you know lift 50 pounds over and over and over again or heavier for a long state uh, long period of time uh, so therefore I'm not qualified to be able to do factory jobs either so um, that's just what it is, man. Uh, I have a previous uh, prohibited weapons charge because I had some security equipment on me uh, after a shift one night, and there is a apparently an attempted break and enter around the area that me and my buddy were walking, and two cops pulled up in their cruisers, and they're like, fucking get on the hood, bitch, and they started frisking me all up and down, getting a little handsy, and then they found my security equipment, and they're like, oh, you're, you're clearly the person that's trying to break it in, or you're, you're, you're coming with us. So, whatever. Uh, they, the thing with getting arrested is uh, police like to wallpaper you with as many charges as possible, hoping at least one of them will stick, and they can get a little pat on their shoulder from uh, their uh, precinct. But, uh, long story short, my lawyer fought it. It got every one of the charges dropped because they're retarded, except for the prohibited weapons one. Apparently, you're not allowed to have your um, extendable baton on you when you're not at your security work site. Whatever. I just didn't take it off. I just kind of still had it on me. Fuck me, right? But anyways, so that being said, I'm not able to get a job around cash. Uh, I'm not allowed a job around kids. For some stupid reason, uh, you know, apparently, if you have weapons on you, you're now you're you're now like a, a, a vicious criminal who's gonna steal and 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 you know, beat up people and kidnap kids or something. I don't know. It was really dumb. So that's that's why I can't really get too many like regular nine to five jobs, and I would have to take a factory job. And with my femur the way it is, and can't really you know support that amount of weight. Uh, over and over again for a long period of time. I can't really get factory jobs, so yeah, long story short, I'm on Ontario Disability Plan with the wife. Um, my my income consists of, you know, selling merch and stuff like that through my Slam Bros distro. Uh, I'm actually wearing my shirt and my hat from this today. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so people put in orders and I try to find them the best deals um, through different distros and stuff like that that I can, and then I send it off to them. Uh, same with my black metal uh, distro called Helvet Canada. Same thing for black metal. I try to find them the best deals and send them off the stuff. 
Um, I don't have enough money to just carry around boxes upon boxes of merch and CDs on me. Uh, there's still, by the way, tons of Rectal Depravity CDs available, so if you want one of those, um, 20 US dollars shipped. And you can have yourself a rare Rectal Depravity EP. Next is uh, questions by someone called G. Vool, or Vowel. He asks, Biocancer, what do you think about them? They're actually pretty decent. Um, I would uh, I would probably definitely recommend checking them out if you're into uh, thrash or, you know, thrash mixed with metalcore, so like thrashcore. The vocals are, are very, you know, metalcore or deathcore sounding, but not in the low guttural sense, more in the highs. And and the, the instruments remind me of Toxic Holocaust, so that's fucking awesome. I actually really, really enjoy uh, Biocancer, and I didn't, uh, I wasn't aware of them until this question, so thank you, man, for that, uh, thank you for that question. Second, G. Vool asks, what is the differences between Greek black metal and classic black metal? Um, I don't really know too much about Greek black metal, uh, but using Rotting Christ as a kind of launching point for that type of metal, or black metal, I would say they have a more epic feel. They are kind of maybe a doomier, chantier, ritualistic sound. And uh, they got kind of like a, an ancient colonial uh, kind of uh, battle -y type of feel to them. Um, very foreboding and deep sound as opposed to the classic black metal. Uh, it's very, it's very good. Uh, definitely check out Rotting Christ if you haven't. Uh, I'm not entirely aware of a bunch of other Greek black metal bands, but <laughs> definitely something for me to check out in the future. So thanks for your question. Next are a couple questions from Sunsetter DBK. <laughs> and these are some ridiculous questions, and I find it funny. So thanks for submitting these. Number one, he says, "Why when?" Uh, why, when you have to shut down your computer, do you need to click on the start menu? <laughs> I, I think I get that. I get the joke there. It's like shutting down something and start. They're really the opposite. So why would you click on the start to shut down? Um, be honest, man, it's all on what CPU or laptop you're using. For me, I don't have to click on the start menu to get the shutdown option. I just fucking click on Alt-Control-Delete, and it brings up a... Uh, a menu for me where I can either restart, uh, shut down, or there's something else too. Just like restart, shut down, and oh, sleep mode. It could also go into sleep mode. So just depends on what you're using. But <laughs> for the joke, I get it. That that's funny. Okay. Number two. Why do people order a double cheeseburger, large fries? And then order a Diet Cola. <laughs> because they're idiots. That's why. Because they think <laughs> they can somehow order these giant fucking amounts of food and then somehow counteract it with, with a Diet Cola. I'm sorry, that's not how it works. In fact, you're probably making it worse because Diet Cola has aspartame in it. And aspartame is really bad for your body, especially in large quantities. So if you order, like, an extra-large fucking Diet Cola, you're a dumbass. Aspartame is bad for you. So, uh, to answer your question, man, I don't know why they do it. I, I really don't. You need to, like, proportion yourself and just, you know, serving sizes matter. <laughs> you having a Diet Cola at the end of it isn't going to do shit. And so continue to ruin your body. You're not fooling anyone. I'm surprised you're even fooling yourself at that point. Third, is Galder from Dimu actually a potential pedophile? I don't fucking know, man. He probably isn't. But when I see someone with those molestashes, it kind of makes me wonder, you know? Like, by now, everyone who's... who's anyone should, he, should know that wearing those mustaches kind of makes you look like a molester. So... If you do it, and you're aware of that, maybe you are, maybe you aren't, or maybe you're just an idiot, or maybe you just like wearing a mustache and don't give a fuck what people think. 
But no, Gulder from Demu is probably not actually a pedophile. I just said it because that's what people with mustaches look like to me. Fourth, do you like death? Why? Or do you think they're overrated? Um, death is a fantastic death metal band. Uh, Chuck Shoulder, Shouldenier was a decent guitarist, a decent vocalist. He has damn good riffs. Um, I recently went back and listened to Scream Bloody Gore. It's pretty good. Uh, it's, it's not quite as good as some of the later re releases, in my opinion. Uh, my favorite album still is The Sound of Perseverance. I fucking love the um, Spirit Crusher song, just the way he screams that lyric uh, for the chorus. So good. I probably will eventually go back and get some of the albums through the discography, um, work my way back from Sound of Perseverance and just kind of get them from there. Um, but yeah, no, Death is really good. I really enjoy that uh, that band's material, and I definitely recommend them to anyone who has not heard of Death. So, yeah. R.I.P. Chuck Schuldner. Fucking amazing musician. Alright, last questions. So this might be a little bit longer than 15 minutes. It's by DeadEyedBoar89. First question. Favorite black and white horror films? Um, I don't really watch too many black and white horror films, but if I had to give, like, my favorite, probably Nosferatu. Uh, it's really creepy. Uh, I think that might even be a silent film. Uh, but yeah, it's really good, really creepy, and just... It's decent for its time, like, it's, it's pretty good. Um, next, other than that, probably anything by, Por by Boris Karlov. Uh, I love his rendition of Frankenstein. I have a BC Rich Beast uh, with the Boris Karloff Frankenstein uh, art, body art skin. It's uh, sweet and it's just good. I really like Boris Karloff's acting. I'm pretty sure he's been more than just Frankenstein though. I'm pretty sure he's been like uh, a mummy. I'm pretty sure he's been Dracula at one point. He's done other kind of, like, black and white horror films. But, uh, yeah, those. Those would be my favorite black and white horror films. Favorite record labels? I have a few, actually. Um, Seasons of Mist for quite a few of uh, black metal releases and stuff like that. Uh, they recently did uh, Abbott's self-titled, so that's pretty cool. Uh, CDN Records. Uh, run by Craig Newman in Southern Ontario. He has tons and tons of great amazing stuff in his distro. He has a couple of pretty decent bands signed to his label like Corprophemia. Um, when Corprophemia split up for a bit and became Calculate, they are also an all right deathcore band. Um, there's also another couple that I can't really think off the bat, but he's got quite a few uh, bands that are decent on the label. Uh, definitely check them out. Go to cdnrecords.com if you want some inexpensive slam or uh, gore grind or some thrash metal, I believe, or brutal death metal. He's even got some black metal in there. Uh, no big names that I'm aware of, but uh, he's got some decent stuff in there, so check them out. Uh, Misanthropy Records, obviously for any of Burzum's stuff. Uh, Profound Lore is another good one. Uh, I know Josh Army Ho and Count Blagoroth and... Pretty sure YXM buys frequently from those uh, that record label. Severed Records is also good for slam and brutal death metal and stuff like that. Uh, Death Like Silence, obviously, Euronymous's label has some decent bands on there. Mayhem for one, obviously. And uh, Ominous Domain. I uh, I like them. They're pretty good. I just recently picked up a couple things from them. Hopefully we'll be able to show you soon. I don't know when, because Canada Post is on strike, so... No, they're not. Whenever they're done. No, they're not. They're not on strike anymore? Mom got mail today. Well, 
I would like to get mail. They weren't were on strike yet. They're talking about it. They're talking about being on strike? They're, they're holding it off. Jenna said her brother that works for them, and that yeah. they're giving it 30 days. So, in, within 30 days, Canada Post might be on strike? Yeah. Well, hopefully I can get some shit within that time. All right. <laughs> and third and last question for this uh, Q&A video. Videos, set of videos, actually, because this is the last one. Favorite books? My favorite books, since I don't really have too many, uh, would be Anne Rice's Vampire Chronicles. Uh, so that would be Interview with the Vampire, um, Queen of the Damned, and The Vampire Lestat. Pretty good. Uh, definitely, definitely decent vampire type of book series and movie series before Twilight ruined it with their sparkly pussy-ass vampires. Uh, I'm also into Goosebumps, just because everyone who is anyone and had a childhood fucking read Goosebumps. Uh, if there is Are You Afraid of the Dark books, I probably would have read those too. But uh, yeah, man. It might be cheesy, it might be kiddish, but Goosebumps was pretty sweet. And that Song, though. Um, I also like, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard it or not, but The Maneater of Rotenberg. It was basically the real life Hannibal Lecter. Uh, this guy in Germany um, found out that he had an interest in potentially eating human flesh, so he went to these kind of random Reddit type sites, what, like the German, German equivalent of Reddit, and he put out an ad for. Uh, someone to be eaten and some dude responded and was like yeah I, I would love to be eaten and ground up in your teeth and be swallowed it's just like really creepy and fucked up but it was a really good book and it was interesting to kind of get into the mind of a, a real life cannibal it's uh, pretty fucked up I'm pretty sure there is a movie based on that um, I, don't, I don't know if it's the Fangoria series or not but it's called uh, uh, Dark Love or something like that. I don't know. We own it. We have it on DVD. It's pretty good. Um, it doesn't quite cover everything, but it was it was it was a decent movie. Sounds like Dark Love. <laughs> well, the guy did like men, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I need to get the Lords of Chaos book. I've read some of it from just different. Parts of the internet. I've checked out different excerpts and different different uh, articles from the book. Seems really interesting. It seems like something I'd like to read. Uh, so probably eventually get that. And probably everyone on my channel already knows I'm kind of a huge uh, DC Comics fan. So I've got tons of dicks. tons tons of dicks, tons of graphic novels. Uh, got. Uh, Infinite Crisis, uh, Zero Hour, Crisis in Time, um, the 52 series, the original 52 series, and the countdown to the uh, Final Crisis series. Um, I have Identity Crisis. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what, what was another one of those ones? The Kingdom Come series, that was pretty sweet. And a lot of the Justice League of America graphic novels. But yeah, so that's kind of the books I like to read and kind of the stuff I'm into. Hope I answered all your questions satisfactory as usual. Thanks for watching and stick around for the winner of the 500 subs giveaway contest. Stay sick, my friends.